Hello everybody, this is Daniel from the GoTo family. So right now I'm at the Arkady Monastery. We are on the outskirts of Rethymno. So we just want to take you guys on a tour of the things to do and see around the city of Rethymno. And this is going to be our first stop right here. And as you can see, it is really quiet around here. We are in the mountains of Crete and you just hear like an owl and the crickets and it's just really nice and quiet and we're gonna go inside the monastery right now let's go So you pay to enter, it's three euros a person, kids are free, so six euros in total. And you take your little guide at the entrance, which is free, it's gonna give you some much needed insights into the monastery of Arkady. So the Catholicon, the church itself on the premises here was built in 1587 and it's dedicated to the transfiguration of our Savior and it's also dedicated to uh, Saint Helena and Saint Constantine. I just had to read that up there. This is why the map here comes in handy. It gives you a lot of information about the premises here but also this this map right here that they give you they are very fond of this monastery. They rate it as one of the most important in all of Greece so uh, definitely a place worthwhile to come and check out. And you can come to the second level here and you can stand right in front of the Catholicon just look how beautiful that is. Wow. And in the distance, you have the typical Cretan countryside. It is just unbelievably beautiful. Kids are eating the rosemary from the garden. They have a beautiful lush garden in the back here with this crazy, crazy big rosemary. You can see it right here. It actually looks like a tree more than, uh, than rosemary. So this tree right here has witnessed some things in its lifetime. One of the things it's witnessed is the War of 1866 in which the Turks had battled the Greeks and uh, you can see here that it still has a battle wound which is a bullet which uh, you can see there that's lodged where the arrow is so uh, and it's also went up in flames as well but the tree is still pointing to the church so it's still standing all right so beautiful first stop here the monastery of arcadi beautiful relaxing enchanting little place and now we are just gonna head into our car and head to our second destination all right so this is margaritas this is a small village here in crete on the outskirts of Rethymno, some 300 or so people live here, so it's really quite small. But this place is known for its ceramics, and as you can see, walking here, you'll see all these ceramic shops. So uh, I, I believe that a lot of the ceramics from all over Crete actually come from this small village right here. So this is really nice, and it's also known for some of its food too. so many ceramics here it's a path made out of ceramics this is crazy and please be careful these can break easily but just look at all these there's a, a bit of everything for everybody shapes sizes designs anything you want here here's one mom yikes 
Oh, it's a fishy. This is such a cool little shop right here in Margaritas and you can just see, I love how it's decorated with all these different designs here and it's kind of like the path is made with all these works. It's really nice inside and the lady was actually making a turtle. The kids really enjoy watching her you know go to work with that with that turtle and they also got their hands a little dirty playing with you know with that clay with that material that she's using to, to make all these work so uh really nice and cool and the only issue is that it's kind of hard to pick and choose what you want because there's just so much inside the shop it's crazy but uh it's really nice and of course this is not the only shop here it just kind of stood out because she has all of the works kind of like outside and you know inside basically everywhere so it just kind of stood out but there's all kinds of different shops that you can go to if you want to shop and see the perfect item here in margaritas for yourself <music> Check out these back alleys of a small Cretan Greek village. It's so nice and charming. Of course, you got your beautiful church right here, but the houses are nice and charming, and it's just so nice and peaceful to be here. You hear the sounds of nature, roosters, other kinds of animals. So <laughs> it's just beautiful to be here. done your shopping for all your ceramics here in the town of Margarita as you can come down to this place I believe the name is called Mangalos it's just a taverna here there's, there's a bunch of them but this one has really nice views overlooking the northern coast I shall say so you can sit right here and just check this out the views are just unbelievable that's the water right over there this is really nice and you can come here and you can savor some delicious country style Greek food right here in the heart of Crete. This is customary for me. I tend to get a lot of these courgette balls. This is a fried variety. Let's try this one out. Mm. Oh yeah, that is just so nice. Super soft. And it's almost like a cheesy falafel with mint. Mm. Boom. That is delicious. It just literally explodes in your mouth. It's cheesy, but it's not too heavy. It's very nice and fluffy and just perfect. All right, and here we got the tzatziki as well. Just gonna put that to the side. So here we got the Greek salad. So this is quintessential. It's ubiquitous. I honestly feel like eating this every day, sometimes even twice a day. But here we have their, their version right here. So you can just see the huge chunks of tomatoes. You got those cucumbers in there. You got those green peppers. You got that feta. And here you, act, you while you have some olives as well, I, I can't spot any capers on this one. But here we have some fresh oregano. Now this is not something you see all the time. Usually oregano is something I tend to use a lot in its dry variety, but this is in its fresh variety right here So that looks really nice. So we're just gonna give that salad a nice twirl. We're just gonna mix it around After of course drizzling with olive oil All right And once we're done here we go. We're gonna scoop up a nice bite We're gonna get some of that oregano in there that fresh oregano cucumber and some tomato It's so nice, so fresh, 
those veggies, they're basically plucked fresh from the garden. And that's exactly how they taste. Mm. Beautiful. And next up I got the souvlaki. This is the pork souvlaki. And for six euros here, you get three skewers, three pretty big skewers of pork souvlaki. They come on a bed of french fries with a lab. It's so pretty simple, pretty country style eating right here. But with the souvlaki, the Greek salad, the tzatziki on the side, I kind of have like the main dishes of Greece right here on the table right now. So let's try out the souvlaki. It looks really nice. You can see that nice char on the outside. That looks beautiful, freshly taken from the grill. And just look at that. You see those Cretan herbs on the souvlaki as well. All right, let's try this one out. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice. And that right there is a nice fatty piece. That is delicious. And the way they do it here is they kind of spaced out those more tender pieces with a bit of fatty pieces. Those more tender pieces on the souvlaki, they are going to be made more flavorful with those fatty pieces that are kind of going to ooze some of that juice while it cooks and also while you're eating it as well. Mm. Mm. And that comes off the skewer really nice and easy. This is perfection right now. A nice country style Cretan meal right here. Perfect view, a perfect breeze. Nice. And <laughs> Robin just got attacked by some cats. Overly enthusiastic. Ava, yeah. you made a new friend. Not that one, the black cat. Not this one. Where's the other one? Um, behind me. <laughs> don't know if you can see it. Oh. Just don't put your hand too close. Yeah, that one is. Like they eat it in like one second. Yeah, but he didn't like chew that. He just swallowed. How? How? Doesn't chew. <laughs> All right, so that was nice. Just some of the things to do in and around Rethymno or in the surrounding areas. If you're ever in this region, this is nice. You want to go inside the island, explore some of these magical, you know, Cretan villages, enjoy some of the delicious countryside Cretan food, buy some souvenirs. In this case, Margarita's, of course, known for its ceramics. So we bought a bunch of them. Uh, you know, they're really, really nice, and the prices in in the village are, are much cheaper than if you buy them anywhere else so all in all a fun day of just fun and relaxing I have to say of just coming out here inside the Cretan countryside all right so that's gonna do it for this video guys so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that you know thumbs up for a like if you like the video don't forget to hit the bell for notifications right we'll see you